So I grew up in Indiana, so watching this film, uh, just very familiar setting, very familiar environment, very familiar people, it really feels like what much of America is that isn't, uh, you know, so often seen in TV and yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. um, and I really appreciated, I was just telling the guys this, say they wrote it, yeah. um, I, I expected walking in to knowing the subject matter that there'd be some clear villains, some heroes, mm -hmm. and I really felt like everyone was just like a real person. Yeah, it, it, I feel like it all... Nobody's either. No, you know? it all kind of lives in this gray, gray area, and I think it serves the movie really well because... I think the things that they're talking about, this community, and what the decisions they're trying to make, is very, it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. And to make someone the good guy or the bad guy would be so reductive. Yeah, you know? reductive, exactly, mm -hmm. well put. And when your character's introduced, even, there's an element of a familiar sort of storytelling, like, okay, she's gonna be, and then she's not what you expect. And, yeah. and does things that you didn't expect and maybe don't like, but yet you still like her and yeah it's a hard thing to pull like people, off right right like, people. like the people that we love in our lives we don't always love the things they do but yeah. we always love them and we're rooting for all these characters i mean matt damon is so likable even mm -hmm. when he even if he has a scene where you're like i don't like that you're doing that you yeah. know or, or how holbrook says to him you're a really good guy you embody a lot of the qualities that we need to see more of, and yet I wish you weren't doing this one thing. Yeah, and um, and even just sort of casting him in a role like this one, it's great because it's he's playing against that likability by doing yeah things we don't like. Uh huh. But he's so likable. But he is. We <laughs> yeah. trust him. Yeah, somehow. and that also and makes you believe how he can come into town and pull that off. Yeah. Um. So, how did you first hear about this whole thing, and how was it? Explain you know, it to you. It was kind of a last minute thing. I think they had been looking for this role for a while. I think they had conceived her maybe a little bit younger than I am. And I was in North Carolina visiting my husband, and I got a call on a Thursday. I think Gus is going to make a decision on this movie tomorrow. Do you want to maybe throw your hat in the ring? So thank God for modern technology. And 2 a.m., my husband and I were with the flip video camera, you know, wow. laying down an audition. And then it went the step further, and I did a chemistry read with Matt. Um, that with Gus shooting and John Krasinski played the bartender in the bar scene. <laughs> he was really good, but we needed him to play the environmentalist. And uh, yeah, we just read through it once or twice, and then I thought, oh, I probably won't get that because I like it so much. It's usually <laughs> the jobs that you love that you know elude you. And I, yeah, I felt really lucky to get to be a part of this. Nice. Um, where was this film shot? I didn't actually read that anywhere. Right, just outside Pittsburgh. Okay. We all stayed in Pittsburgh because sometimes we were shooting to the north of Pittsburgh or the yeah. south or um, in this lush farmland that Gus. I've been to some yeah. areas around there like Greensburg and Latrobe and uh -huh. friends who live in sort of some of those outskirts and yeah, it all kind of looks it's like that. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so I know thematically this film deals with, uh, I felt like it was less about environmentalism or mm -hmm. and more about sort of just community and people and, and yeah. uh, identity, Can like where. Where is this all going for us right now? Yeah, you I know? mean, I feel like we're all the age where we remember what it was like to, I don't know, we, I grew up really, I grew up in the suburbs, but I really knew my neighbors. People mm -hmm. were kind of involved in each other's child rearing. You know, mm -hmm. you could drop your kid off with the neighbor and say, oh yeah, take them to the community pool. You know, we were all yeah. involved. And then I don't really know my neighbors where mm -hmm. I live in LA now, you know, and, and we are kind of isolated. And, and there is something where I think we want to go back to. It's not a simpler time really it, it's a, just a time where we were a little bit more connected and we were considering each other a little mm -hmm. bit more and because the decisions that this community has to make are so important the only way to make them is as a community yeah well said